play Autumn Leaves, you guys. You, you want to do that? What do you think? Yeah, do it. This is a tune that you got to know, right? And we're going to talk about soloing over it. But let me go ahead and play it first. And um, um, let's see, wait a minute. Tell you what, what we're going to do is, uh, <clears throat> what are we going to do? Let me just play the song. Yeah, play For, it first. Forget it. I'll just play it. Then, then talk about the soloing, and then play it again with what you just taught. Okay. Unmute your mic. 
Okay. So, gee, I, that's Autumn Leaves. And, uh, you know, um, that's, it's, it's a fun little tune, right? It goes between two key centers. One is G and the other is E minor. And it's E harmonic minor. <laughs> because it's got a two chord of a flat five, F sharp seven flat five to B seven. So that sound. Is very dark minor. The other sound is major. Right, so that's all. And then then minor again. Now, I tell you, here's a cool little scale. If you just use this scale, you're golden. And, and the scale I would like to present to you today. Get ready. It's a sweet little scale, one that you're going to love, dear. Uh, if you it play is. that, that's, that's the scale. <laughs> You're golden if you play that. <laughs> <laughs> it is a E bebop harmonic minor. Bebop means there's like eight tones, or you could call it an octagon scale. But basically what this scale is, is E... Here is a harmonic minor. So root, 9, flat 3, 11. Notice how I call the 11. It's 11 and not a 4. And that this is a 9 and not a 2. Get used to doing that. Okay, 11, 5, sharp 5, not flat 6, because flat 6 is never in a chord. I hate it when people write a flat 6. It's a sharp 5. And then the next note is a natural uh, 7. So there is harmonic minor. Now what we're going to do is insert one note. The flat 7, the natural 7, and then the root. Now think about this for a second. Think hard. All right, if if we compare this scale over, let's say, let's first start with a uh, E minor, okay? Okay, there's the third, the flat five, the fifth, the sharp fifth, which is a little funky, but it's okay. The natural, or the flat seven, the sharp seven or the natural seven, whatever. And you get this sound, right? So here's the scale within the chords. Okay, so it works good. Now, how about this scale against a B7? Okay, there is the um, E, which is the worst note you can play against the B7. So let's eliminate that for now. Well, let's, well, we'll go ahead and just, it's an avoid note, let's say. So fifth, sharp fifth. Here's a B, B augmented seven, sharp fifth. Flat seven, root, flat nine, right? Sharp nine, third. Okay, so against this chord, its resolution, okay? Against F sharp minor, same kind of thing. Now, how about in the major key? How F against the A minor chord, right? Five, six, flat seven, root, nine, flat three, 11, flat five. Yeah, so it's cool. Hear it against. And 
against the D7. How about that? D7. Here is right flat nine, nine flat nine, root flat seven, thirteen. Okay, it all works out. How about against G? Right, six seven root. Ah. <sighs> Nine, three, four, five, sharp five. Sounds like this. And so it's going to sound good against all of those chords. Whoops. So let me play Autumn Leaves. I'm just going to solo, just using that scale. got to get past this. All right, here we go. Here I go now. Okay, you with me on that? It all works really good, doesn't it? Now, there's another scale that's really close to this. Oh, but wait a minute, before we, before we go any further, I want to show you this one thing. And that is, if you look at a scale and you think about it, and you try to get a pattern there. Now, I started with my third finger there, right? Now, start with your third finger here and do the same pattern. You know, it's a little bit different, but you, you dig. Whoop. same pattern that just that simple pattern okay now let's add one more uh, an, one more thing here let's add a blues scale E blues so Hear that difference? Now I'm going to add this blue scale in with the bebop. Now let's see what we get. Thank you. 
right, so between those two scales, you can go crazy, crazy bonkers. So, as a little side note, you, when you start doing... Uh, never mind. Um, start doing the chords of those scales. You get a lot of cool things. I hope to do a lesson on that soon. So I was trying to think of an easy way to show somebody how to solo over that song. Now, all we're doing is staying in one tonal center, right? And we're letting, which is E, B, bop, harmonic minor, and we're letting the chords react to that scale. So it's a kind of a different concept as opposed to soloing around the chords and changing all that stuff. So, so let me show, show you the difference. Here's soloing around changes. You get the idea? Anyway, so um, I think that's kind of an interesting thing. Experiment with that. And I have a lot of lessons on the song Autumn Leaves, so you ought to check them out. All right, so I hate scales, and so does my wife. And Gail says she hates them, too. <laughs> you know what? Uh, you know, a football player does sit-ups, right? When they do... They do push-ups, sit-ups, sit-ups. But when they go one, two, three, hike, they don't jump down and do sit-ups and push-ups. Well, scales are like that. Those are your sit-ups and push-ups. You don't necessarily take them out and use them in a gig. But if you can't play a scale, trust me, you're not going to be able to play a good solo. I don't care what you, somebody's told you or whatever you say. You, i tell you one, something. Joe Pass was in uh, Ernie Ball Guitars one time. And the, he, Joe Pass can play scales like you wouldn't believe. Now, does he play them when he does solos, when you hear him playing with Ella? No, but he can play scales. So, okay. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.